must be some way out of here Said the joker to the thief There's too much confusion I can't get no relief Businessmen, they drink my wine Plowmen dig my the earth Atlantic ones that I know None of them Organic movements, as it's been called, is a hundred years old, and I just joined it halfway through. Um, and when I joined, there was no market for organic food. I was trying to farm sustainably. We realised that we were so disadvantaged by the common agricultural policy, which subsidised intensive production and made farming intensively more profitable than farming in a more sustainable way. That we thought, well, if we find what we were doing and reached out to the market and asked. Uh, citizens to support us by buying our food uh, at a premium, we would be able to survive. And we did that and it was a great success and we built the market in the UK, which is where I farm up to uh, about two billion. And then of course the market for local food thrived as well. But in the bigger context, we just didn't break through. And now here we are at Rio and we're witnessing another failure of the political process where the world leaders are not going to agree what needs to be agreed, which is a really decisive action plan to make sustainable food and farming the norm, not the niche. And we need to think about it in a new way. And I've been around long enough to see that even the organic movement, which I've been very much associated, needs to change. Because in a way, we kind of, we were so sure we were right. You know, we were we were convinced that ours was the way and that's why we did the standards and developed the market and everything else, but perhaps we forgot that actually the whole world needs to change and the people who were farming the other way, we need to include them as well because now unless all our food systems change, we're really going to be in deep trouble within the next 10-15 years. So I think now the energy has to be one of inclusiveness, not of polarisation, not of as opposition as it was. And we have to stop being so preachy, so sure that we're right, and really be more in a state of question in front of this great unknown. And if, if you like, there's, what we need now is to think about and plan a transition of the world's food systems, but not waiting for the world leaders to do something, because they haven't done something here and they're unlikely to in the near future. So it has to be a kind of people's movement for change, starting with the cellular from the ground up. But there is a need for leadership. And I think that now those of us who are part of the old guard, although I still feel 18, which is when I first got involved, we need to give way to the new generation. We need to find a way of empowering young people to feel part of this movement and to realize that whatever you do as an individual from the ground up, the unifying principles are connected. So if you like a small farm, my farm in Wales, is like a cell of the wider food system. And if I get my farming right, then in the, in the whole, that could be the, the food system that we need. We need to think about how to plan a route map from where we are now to where we need to be, say, 10, 15 years time, based on small-scale production, but also organized on a bigger scale. And also we need to mobilize ourselves so we become a food movement which is so strong that it mobilizes public opinion and the politicians feel the heat and eventually they have to do something about it, maybe at the next Rio, but actually long before that. There are two views about politicians. Uh, one is that they're bastards, uh, and the other is, which is my view, they're us. They have been elected into office by to represent public opinion, and if public opinion is flowing in a certain direction, if there's a tide flowing, in the end, even if they don't agree with what the public think, they're going to do what they want to stay in office. And that's right. So, in a way, the failure of the Rio process is a failure of our food movement to mobilize sufficient, empowered public opinion for the politicians to feel the heat. They didn't feel the heat, so what happened was they listened to other influences, vested interests, vested interests, yes, of course there were vested interests, 
and self-interest and kind of political inertia, which you know tends to make people carry on doing what they were doing before. Um, those forces were stronger than the forces of our uh, demand that our food systems had changed. So we need to really rethink the way in which we can influence change from the top down. It has to come from the bottom up. And if we mobilise the food movement at a cellular level with the people actually taking action, not waiting for the politicians, and we scale that, we communicate our ideas effectively, then in the end they will have to act too. to celebrate the great diversity of the food movement and I think the need for us to work more in a more integrated way does not mean we need to uh, in any way eliminate uh, the thousands of organisations uh, or homogenise what they're doing. I mean we need to have uh, different expression for different cultures and different actions for different parts of the world but I think all of us, we know this when we hear it from uh, people who are uh, really representing the ideas properly, we are connected by some underlying truths, by some unifying principles which apply to all food systems, whatever their scale, wherever they are in different parts of the world. So a Brazilian smallholder here is informed by the same principles that uh, uh, enable me to farm as well as I can uh, in West Wales in a completely different part of the planet with different soils and different climate, etc. Et and I think these are to do with the fertility of soil, the need to build fertility, the need to minimise my dependency on non-renewable inputs, to address climate change, to look at biodiversity, to think about scale and the social issues. And I think the food movement working together needs to coalesce around issues where they are connected to these principles and maybe uh, find a way to be more than this collective sum of our parts in terms of influence and change. If we could do that, we could bring about the most extraordinary change because we now have this amazing power of the internet and viral communications, which means that all of us can feel very personally in touch with the issues, like here I am sitting in Rio talking to you, and somehow this is going to get out very widely and that's an amazing thing which wasn't here the last Rio you know there were faxes and telephones and that was about it then and uh, now everybody's communicating with each other wildly I mean they're just emails flying all over the place and films being made and it's getting all over the world very quickly so the fact that the headlines going out now from here are the failure of Rio heralds a new chapter of a demand on the on the food movement in all its diverse parts to work more activity together.